Alrighty, so trying to do something a little more advanced in terms of showing you where uh, how the how the app would work. So right now I'm actually sitting on the bike, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, initiate the program. All right, so you can download it. Like I have an Android, so. Um, you know, I go to Google Play, but uh, it, it, it is available for iOS. So um, make sure you check that out. So right now, um, I went ahead and had everything set up. Initially, I was having problems because um, I thought the code was 000 or 1234, but no, there's something specific. And it's recommended that you change your um, Bluetooth bonding code. So, you know, for security's sake, you don't want no, no jerk screwing you over. But um, as of right now, I the, it, this is just the, you know, out of the box settings with this. All right. So there's two screens. So I'm just going to scroll on over. All right. They have the setup wizard. You can actually have uh, different profiles in the upper right. You can see save open. You know, you can, you know, uh, adjust your kill times. You could do eight milliseconds or adaptive. Now, I know I'm going to set mine to expert. Uh, because when I had my DinoJet um, Quick Shifter on Lola on my ZX10, for those of uh, you who are new followers, um, I was able to go and adjust all that. I actually went to forums and just, you know, tried different setups. But uh, with that, you can actually, you know, check the sensor. So right now, I'm going to... Ooh, I hit the, the horn. My bad. So um, I'm going to hit the sensor going up. All right. So I'm in neutral now. And it shows you sensor value at 37%. Now, the one thing I, I feel is kind of weird, uh, the threshold is 20% at um, the minimum. So if like if you press like a long hold, it'll um, in initiate. Like I just did a light tap, it was too little. If I press and hold or I do like a, like a good, you know, like you got to kind of hit it. You know, um, if I down press down on the, the lever. Yeah, it's like you have to really whack it kind of or maybe I just have to adjust the sensitivity. But. Um, yeah, I'm in neutral now and then I'm going to go into first by pressing down on my lever. But it, I feel it's a little aggressive in, in my you know case, but. You know, I, I'm probably going to go ahead and adjust the kill time a little bit later. I think 6 milliseconds or 6.5 is what I saw on the um, ZX14R forums page. Shout out to Rook. Um, he, the cool dude over there uh, kind of helping me out, uh, with allowing me to share my videos over there. Um, you can actually set where to um, activate your RPMs. I, I know if I'm racing, I usually set it at like 6,000 minimum, you know, but right here I see it's at 3,000 RPM and then the highest is 15. My bike only goes up to 13,000, so I'm not even gonna go that, you know, that high, but let's see. Hmm. I was See, I think I have to have the bike on to also, too, in order for the app to work, you have to have uh, the bike on or at least the ignition on. All right. So right now, if you probably could hear me actually clunking through it. But um, let's see. You can go through the different setups. Actually, I'll show you. All right, I was at 29. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna test the um the up and down shift when I get a chance, um, and then the cutoff times. So I really have to like get some help with it, but I just wanted to kind of orient you on what it you know some of these things look like. So you have the setup wizard, RPM setup, you have the sensor setup, cutoff times, and and pretty much you don't need a manual. Everything is there for you, you know. Uh, I can put my security code, change the language, all right? There's troubleshooting FAQ, and right now, um, 
If you have any issues uh, after installing it, you can go to HealTechElectronics.com or support at HealTech-Electronics.com. All right, so I, I think that uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, again, for the type of sensor it is, you know, I still have to fine tune it. I'd rather be a little sensitive on the sensitive side on the upshift. The downshift seems to be fine, you know, but, you know, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, comments or concerns or after I do like a, a, a test video, because on my ZX14 prior, I only got to use it once or twice and, and I didn't really get a feel feel for it. But um, I can tell you this, uh, I, this is going to be fun. I can't wait to, oh, actually, on this screen, yeah, but the li light taps, I probably have to, like, increase the range of movement or add slack to the wire, because I, I just want to make sure, see, like, if you, like, lightly tap it. It's almost like a pressure button. If if anybody played like old arcade games, if you like smash on a button, the harder you hit it, the more um Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? We we shall see. I'm gonna, you know, do like a test run with it and see how it works. I'll do another video of probably like my 360 fly camera and actually do like a real time thing. But uh, I know this is running a little long, but uh bear with me. So make sure you rate, comment, and, and subscribe. Check me out on the ZX Predator page and the official Predator with underscores underneath um, to, you know, stay up to date with all my content. So uh, with that, to my ZX14 family, the man, the myth, the ZX Predator. I'm out.